The April 29th by-elections are right around the corner and four seats are up for grabs. There are independent candidates in the running, but the event is largely being seen as a showdown between the ruling Senori Party and the New Politics Alliance for Democracy, or NPAD. So, what's all the noise about when there are so few seats being contested? For a closer look at the significance of this race and more, we have Professor Han Gusup from Seoul National University joining us in the studio. Professor Han, thank you for making time for us today. Thank you for having me. So, the results of the by-election are expected to have some lasting implications for both parties. Could you tell us what, uh, how this contest could ex affect local politics in the near future? Okay, I think there are two, uh, two possible scenarios that could have a lasting impact. Uh, one is that if, uh, if the uh, opposition party loses all four elections, I think that will be a significant blow to the uh, Moon Jae-in's leadership. And they might, that it might actually even start some discussions about form, uh, forming a new opposition party. The other uh, possible scenario is that if, if Senuri wins at least three of the uh, four races, aside, the one in Gwangju is obviously uh, it's difficult for the Senuri to win, but if Senuri wins three of the four races, I think it will be a, a, you know, a huge uh, boost to the uh, Park Geun-hye administration. Well, actually, uh, overshadowing the elections for the headlines is actually the the Song Wan-jung bribery list scandal at the moment, and it's probably having some destructive effects on both sides. But could you perhaps tell us about how uh, it is affecting the support for either sides at the moment? Well, at the moment, I think uh, initially uh, a lot of people expected this to be a, a huge uh, uh, problem for the Senuri party, but I think uh, a lot of people now realize that it's actually affecting both parties almost equally because a lot of people uh, understand that this is not a problem that's peculiar to uh, either one of the two parties. The other uh, uh, direction that this is actually affecting the election is that because this was such an uh, overwhelming event uh, leading up to the elections, basically a lot of people had no interest in the elections and so on and so forth. So that's probably going to affect the turnout but President uh, Park geun has been waging a battle against corruption, and I guess that scandal was uh, factoring in uh, her political uh, slogan. And how will the results of the by-election actually uh, impact the president's political reform drive? Well, I think that's, uh, that's sort of hard to see right, right now because uh, it's, it's kind of a weird situation because President Park actually initiated this reform movement uh, efforts, but it actually backed fired on her on, on her administration at the moment and so if the Senuri party actually wins uh, or does pull uh, does relatively well in these upcoming elections uh, it will probably uh, allow President Park to continue continue with the uh, sort of justifies her uh, uh, efforts to uh, uh, you know, pursue this reform movement. Right, going back to that, it seems like most of the opposition party members, at one time or another, they've thought about or they decide to get out and start their own or turn their back on the party that they used to belong to. Why is this a continuing trend, in your opinion? Well, I mean, it, it, fundamentally, it's because of the composition of the opposition party. And the, the only thing that's, uh, uh, you know, keeping them together is that if they believe that they they uh, they are better off unified, right? Then they will stick together. If if the uh, the current leadership of the opposition party is uh, seen as weak, and if their uh, chances of uh, winning the next uh, general election and the upcoming uh, the presidential election and so on and so forth, then a lot of people members of the opposition party will obviously have to start thinking about other other options. So I think that's the sort of the uh, main sort of mechanism mm -hmm. underlying the uh, what's happening. In so the when the going party. gets tough, they mm -hmm. tend to look for the exit. Oh yes, absolutely. And so that's really going back to the first question, where they could actually create a new party um, following the elections, right, Professor? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So th in that sense, this the uh, by elections is extremely important. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope to see you again. Thank you.